at Intaraba State death toll in two days of attacks have risen to 12. Security is now being beefed up to prevent a repeat of the attacks on Idani Banigbu, uh, a part of Kona community. But the women there say imposing curfews and mounting roadblocks has not made any situation better. There's more in this report. Kona women take to the streets of Jalingo. They are protesting against the mindless killing of their kinsmen by herdsmen. The march was to the palace of the district head of ATC Yensa Dane. There, they accused the military of supporting the groups that have been unleashing terror on their villages. Almost, almost 20 something community burned down the community, and the soldiers are not doing anything. Rather than killing our youth, arresting them, harassing us. We are protesting to save our people, to save our land. We women, since the men have tried, the army are shooting them. Arresting them. They are just arresting them. all the community now. We are not safe from the government. From the army, we are not safe. At the affected community, residents are leaving their home in droves, alleging that security agencies who ought to protect them have turned a blind eye to their situation. We make uh, contact with security agencies to ensure that they come to our rescue, but unfortunately, it was very late. They came at a late hour. The first people that came were policemen, so they decided to go back. The next group that came is an uh, army. But security agencies insist that their actions have only been patriotic. Together with other security agencies, we are on ground, and the tension is down already. We are going to sustain the deployment we have done to ensure that there is peace before we stand down our people. Residents of Jalingo say if the situation is not handled properly, it could spread to other parts of the state. Uh, the security agency needs to be proactive. It is disturbing that the IDPs are claiming to be molested. My advice to the security agencies is that they should protect all innocent citizens, including the IDPs. Cotton farming communities have been the focus of armed attacks by herders with at least 60 people killed in the past one month. The villages have been deserted, with many indigents fleeing to take refuge in camps for internally displaced persons.